with dogs and fast action, you're in for a treat. Must be the rabbit hunting crew here. That's right. How you doing? I'm Ken Tucker. Lloyd Cleveland. Hey, Lloyd. Glad to know you. This is Mike Boat. Hey, Tim. Ken Tucker. Mike Boat. Tim. Paul, you? Paul, how you doing? Good Ken Tucker. How you, how you doing? How you doing? Chester Berry. Hey, Chester. Ken Tucker. Mike Boat. Ricky Turner. Hey, Ricky. Ken Tucker. Mike Boat. Ollie Scott. Hello, Ollie. I've talked to y'all all on the phone several times. I feel like I know you guys, and I've heard that y'all got the greatest rabbit dogs in the country. Well, we have the uh, most popular strain of beagles and the best rabbit hounds in the United States. Well, right here in Alabama. Right. I understand also you brought me the world champion rabbit dog. She belongs to Mr. Bear. That's Canoe Creek Domino. She's a field champion, and they also have along with her are uh, three other field champions. One of them is Cove Creek Radar, owned by Ricky Turner over here. And then the other two field champions are two of Domino's daughters, field oh. champion Canoe Creek Jolene and field champion Canoe Creek Darcelle. Well, I hear them over there in the, in, the, in the trucks, and they're ready to go. But, you know, rabbit hunting, and we read a lot about it, Mike, is, is big time up north. But we folks in the deep south don't rabbit hunt, or at least we don't in south Alabama like they do even in north Alabama. So I know it's big up your way. Yes, there's quite a bit more in North Alabama. We have several beagle clubs up there where you actually field test the beagles, which is the way they develop into field champions. And we have more of those in North Alabama, of Alabama and of course, uh, further up in Tennessee and Illinois and Kentucky and yeah. like that way. Y'all from Gaston, Alabama and the surrounding areas, and uh, which is what, about uh, 50, 60 miles northeast of Birmingham. That's right. You had quite a trip down here. Yes, we had a nice trip. We enjoyed coming down and seeing the pretty weather down in South Alabama. Okay. It's nice and warm down here. Well, let's get changed and I'm ready to go rabbit hunting. Oh, really? Well, I know Cedar Creek's probably one of the finest uh, commercial lodges in the state. Whenever they uh, find game or when the town routes it out of the squat, we call it the squat or the hutch that the rabbit's in, then if the hunter knows it, and most of the time they will, they'll probably yell tally ho. And this is a signal to the other hounds that they need to come to the pack and come and get on the line. Sometimes uh, you will see the game pass by, and you'll need to get the, the beagles on the line, and you can yell tally ho to the beagles, and, they'll, and they can come, and you point your finger the way you want them to go, and they'll pick up the line and follow it. Oh, is direction. that right? Yeah, so you'll see some of that. Now, they're going to run these rabbits by scent or by sight? They'll run it by yeah. scent, totally. Now they, they'll smell it. Right. There'll be kind of two kinds of scent that a, that a rabbit leaves. One is a body scent, and the other is a track scent. And uh, these hounds are very proficient in both kinds of scent. You must have come through here early this morning. Yeah. But they'll, they'll stay on this trail and trail and trail until they jump in. Yep. little beagles. I'm going to order me one from Tim Pentecost. He's got some great ones. There he goes, there he goes. Mike, I can't believe you missed that rabbit. One thing about rabbit hunting, lots of times you get a second chance. But that was one lucky rabbit. The beagles are on a, what we call a check right now. That means that they're having to check up, see where the rabbit turned or double back or he may have slipped out and squatted down on them. So they'll find him and normally speaking, they'll return back to the approximate location where the rabbit got up. So they'll chase him 
all around in his normal habitat until he comes back. And then when he comes back, if you'd like to have a rabbit for dinner, then of course you kill him when he comes back. Yeah. Tell you, you talking about a rabbit chasing a bunch of dogs? <laughs> hey, man, they ran that rabbit, what, 30 minutes, Mike? At least. At least 30 minutes, a half a mile, and they wouldn't give up. I was ready to go hunt another rabbit, but... Uh, it seemed like 30 miles. <laughs> hey, they crossed the creek three times <laughs> over there. Boy, I tell you, they are... They are really nice. I tell you, and they get in a single line in that thicket, and when they bark, you better believe it's a rabbit. So Jimmy Carter claimed he got attacked by a swimming rabbit. I believe him now. <laughs> I'd forgotten about that. The president did have a rabbit to get after him, didn't he? What do you guys think about going and getting another one? Let's go. All right, let's go. That was never a dull minute. We were running rabbits the entire day. Get him. Was that... That rabbit was too fast for Mike then. and never did get out of sight of the lodge. Mike got his supper. That was fun, wasn't it? I tell you, this rabbit hunting, we're doing good. We got a head start on your supper. It takes how many rabbits for you for supper? <laughs> More than <this. laughs> Something right there, Ollie. this is a good looking place right here, isn't it? This is beautiful, Ball. especially this Johnson grass that we see out here. The rabbits love that. They, yeah. they eat that in the wintertime. Well, I see rabbit droppings everywhere I look out here, so I know they're here. Plenty of cover, food. A lot of hawks and cows in this country, though, probably devastate the, the rabbits to a great extent. Mike, get it all be all kind of rabbits around here, you know? It just looks like rabbit country. We've got a bunch of world-class dogs here. And why don't you tell us some of the championships that they've won? Yes, uh, the first uh, female on the left that Mr. Bear is posing there is field champion Canoe Creek Domino. She started off as a, as a youngster, about 10 or 11 months old, and placed second in uh, the largest female class to ever be run in the gun dog competition in Illinois, and uh, was a class of 102. And from there, she went on to amass approximately 400 points and to make her a field championship in other trials throughout the United States. And uh, on her right, uh, posed by Paul Shue, is field champion Canoe Creek Darcell. And Darcell is Domino's daughter, and she has uh, won her championship as well and around different trials in uh, Alabama, Georgia, Tennessee, and Kentucky. And uh, Tim Pentecost is the next youngster, and of course we're pleased to see a young fella uh, involved in the sport of beagling, and uh, we have many youngsters, teenagers, that are involved in the gun dog movement or the, what we call the small pack option trials. And he's posing field champion Canoe Creek Jolene. And Jolene, likewise, has won her championship and placed in many states, North Carolina, South Carolina, Alabama, uh, Georgia, Tennessee, Kentucky. And uh, next to Tim is Lloyd Cleveland, and he's posing a hound that we would call a near field champion. And that's young Sam the third. He's owned by Ricky Turner. And uh, Sam has won his three first places that you have to have to be a, become a field champion. And, but he lacks a few points. He has to have a defeated in direct competition or 
equivalent direct, indirect competition, 120 other dogs to be a field champion. And uh, then Ricky is on the far right, and he's posing field champion Cove Creek, Cove Springs radar. Ricky will get after me calling him Cold Creek because we can't miss uh, name these dogs, you know. That's Cold Springs Radar, and Radar uh, likewise is placed in many states, and he also has placed in the Deep South runoff down in uh, Louisiana, and he's placed in the United Beagle Foundation, which is uh, one of the national trials that is up in the northern part of the country. So there you have some of the greatest uh, beagles that there is in the United States of America today. I believe you told me that most of your offsprings of these dogs are sold overseas. Well, we did have some people from the Ministry of Field Sports from uh, the country of Japan that have come over and purchased several of these uh, hounds and taken them back to Japan, and they're extremely well pleased with them. They're excited about what they're seeing from 